right, everybody, it is November 4th, run streak day 32, 5K a day streak, day number 29. So only two more days to go until we reach our 30 days of running a 5K or better. But they are going to be rainy, cold, miserable days. It was supposed to be 59 degrees today according to the forecast yesterday. Now it's a high of 44, which is about 31 degrees less than it was yesterday. Yesterday was 75, maybe even slightly above 75. Now it's nasty. Inga's out here suffering with me for the first little bit. But she's gonna turn around here shortly and go back so she can get her mile in. So it's 41 degrees at the moment and you might be thinking, well, why didn't you wait until it stops raining later in the day? It's not gonna stop. It's just gonna get worse. About two hours from now, it's gonna be thunder and lightning and a lot more wind and rain. So this was it, believe it or not, my best opportunity. Probably not gonna record much with the camera because it's a uh, chore keeping the lens clean. And anytime I try to shoot footage of where I'm running, the rain just covers the lens. Right now I'm lucky that the rain is coming this way, so it's hitting the back of the camera as I record myself and not the lens. But we're gonna get our 5K in. We're gonna suffer through, push through. We only got two days to go. We can't quit now, right? I mean, just the way the whole run started today, it's not good. Stepped out the door and uh, onto the street. Wasn't paying attention. Foot went right in a puddle. Soaked before I even started the run. Couldn't go back at that point. I was already committed. So here we are. One foot feels like I'm running in a bucket of water. The other one feels fine. All right, we just hit the two mile mark. A little over a mile to go. Not too bad, stepped in another puddle. So uh, both feet are soaked now, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I was worried about this part of the trail specifically because of all the leaves um, being slippery when they're wet here, but looks like the wind must have blown them off the trail for the most part. There's a few that I got to dodge, but not many. All right, so we, uh, we pulled over. <laughs> We stopped under the uh, shelter here in the uh, Robert D. Ray Asian Garden. It's because it's a little bit of cover. I know the wind is still blowing in here, unfortunately, but at least I'm not getting rained on for a few seconds. I don't know if any of the footage that I've shot is even gonna be good from this run, so we'll see. It's, it was, a lot of times, it was really hard to tell whether or not the lens even had water on it. Like right now, I just wiped it down. I'm underneath the shelter, and I can already see drops of water on the lens again. So uh, it's been pretty difficult filming, and stuff this morning but still been a great run i'm at 2.7 miles i'm almost done i just got to cross the bridge and then i'm pretty much home free at that point so not too bad uh would i do it again yep in fact i am going to do it again tomorrow hopefully it's not as bad tomorrow as it has been this morning as far as being 40 degrees and windy hopefully it's a little bit warmer than that we'll see all right run streak day 32 in the books 5k streak day 29 in the books. We did 3.23 miles. I'll put the Strava information up here So if you're interested, you can check that out Also, I'll put a link to my Strava profile in the description if you want to follow the run streak on Strava as well as on YouTube But uh, yeah, legs are still feeling good We're definitely soaked and ready for a nice hot shower and maybe a hot cup of coffee at this point But spirits are high legs are feeling good. So really can't complain at this point Okay, well, since I didn't capture too much footage while I was out running, I figure I'll shoot a few things at home here, like what I'm eating for lunch and dinner. Lunch today, a pretty simple one. We got this Amy's Hearty Organic Soup. This is the French Country Vegetable. Probably my favorite Amy's soup of all time. While that's cooking, I'm gonna be snacking on these sunflower kernels from Aldi. These are the best. And then to go with that, I got this little mini burrito that I made last night. It was just the leftover rice and potatoes from our taco salad. Threw in some uh, lettuce in here and some salsa. So just a little mini burrito. 
and a couple pieces of toast to go with the soup. Okay, here we go. Lunch is ready to eat now. Nice and simple. We got our burrito smothered in some salsa there. I did put some baby carrots in there as well. A little bit of ranch to dip them in. And there is our soup. Okay, so for dinner, we're gonna be making some split pea soup. So I'm gonna go over the seasonings first here. In our first little dish, we have one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. In the next bowl, we have one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of oregano. So not too many spices going in there. We have one pound of dried split peas, and in here we have the veggies that we just chopped up. So that's two potatoes, two carrots, three stalks of celery, and then I used about half of a small onion. Back here we got two cups of vegetable broth. And then I also have some water here. The water amount's gonna vary. It's probably gonna end up being a little bit more than that, but I'll show you that here in a second. We're gonna be cooking this in the Instant Pot, but we're gonna use the slow cooker setting. So if you have a slow cooker and not an Instant Pot, you can also uh, do this recipe as well, just as easily. Okay, we're gonna turn it on slow cook here. It says four hours, but we're not gonna do a full four hours. It's gonna be more like two and a half to three hours for this to be done on high. Okay, it's been about an hour in here. I'm just gonna give it a stir, see how it's doing. Everything's looking good. The amount of water that we ended up putting in this was actually right around three cups. In fact, I think it was indeed three cups. So five cups of uh, liquid total, two veggie broth and three water. And this probably has about hour and a half to two hours to go here. All right, that's looking pretty good. The peas have pretty much broken down. It's still pretty chunky because we cut the vegetables up in uh, bigger pieces. If you don't want it this chunky, you can definitely either run it through the blender at this point or chop the uh, vegetables up into much smaller pieces. All right, so dinner's all done here. We got our cup of soup there, a couple pieces of a uh, whole grain bread to go with our soup, and then our salad. We got lots of good stuff in there, avocado, some homemade uh, pickled cucumbers, carrots, lettuce, cabbage, some nutritional yeast on top. It's gonna be excellent. All right, this video has gone on far too long. Thank you everybody for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you want to support this channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care.